Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to today's maths lesson. We are going to continue with the concept graphs, but today we will be talking about pictographs or pictograms. For this lesson, we will need the words pictures, information, table, pictograms, data, and count. At the end of this lesson, you will know what is a pictogram and you will be able to read the information from a pictogram or a pictograph. Don't forget to click on the assessment to check if you know your work. There's also some online games, extra worksheets and optional work for you to do in your, in your books. There's also some YouTube videos for you to watch. Okay. So let's begin. What is a pictogram? A pictogram uses pictures to show information. Let us look at some examples in the next slides. In this slide, this pictogram shows the number of sea animals that were seen when Ellie went diving. So he saw jellyfish, starfish, fish, turtle and sharks. Let us count how many jellyfish he's seen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, let us look at the starfish. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And some of the fish. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. How many turtles did he see? 1, 2, 3. How many sharks did he see? One, two, three, four. Okay, so this is how a pictogram shows us the information. The numbers are on one side and the information we need is on the other side. Let us do some more examples. Here you can help me out. Okay, count with me. This is the number of children and their favorite pets. Let us count. How many kids like dogs? One, two, three, four. So we will write four in our table. How many cats like? How many kids like cats? One, two, three. So we have three cats over here. How many kids like rabbits? Count with me. One, two, three, four. So we will write four over here. How many, ki how many kids like mouse? Oh, only one. And there you have it. This is how the information is written as a pictograph. It uses pictures to show us our information. Let us look at some more examples. Now here they showed us a different type of information. Here it's our favorite fruit. We have apple, banana, orange and pear. And they tell us that each smiley face means two children like it. So let us count. Here how many children like apples? So one smiley face means two people like it. So one, two, three, four. That means four children like apples. Let us look over here. One, two. So that means two children like bananas. Let us look over here. How many children like an orange? Oh no, they're showing us half a smile. That means what is half of two? Wh one. So that means one person only likes oranges. And here, let us count and see how many children like pears. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can see six people. Six children like pears. Now we can also compare the information that we collected. 
like which is the fruit that is most liked by somebody or by children yes pears are most liked and which is the fruit that is least liked by children oranges because the only one child likes oranges here is another pictograph here they are showing us children's favorite pet okay so here we have a dog a fish and a cat and they're telling us which people like a dog which people like a fish and which people like cats okay so let us count and see how many people like dogs one two three excellent how many people like fish one two three four how many people like cats one two so here they used the pictures to show us in the beginning and then they wrote the names of each person that liked each pet. Now we can also answer questions again about our pictograph. Like how many chose dog? Three chose dog. And which was the most popular pet that children chose the most? Here, fish because it has the no most number of people here. We've come to the end of today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see, we will see you tomorrow. Assalamu alaikum.